In tonight's big story, the exact whereabouts and fate of Malaysia Airlines flight MH370 remains a mystery, more than 18 hours after the plane was reported missing. The airline says that the air search for the Boeing 777 has now been called off till daylight, although the sea search will continue overnight. MH370 took off from Kuala Lumpur International Airport early this morning at 12.41 a.m. It was scheduled to land in Beijing at 6.30 a.m., but never arrived. An official from MAS says the aircraft last made contact with air traffic controllers 120 nautical miles off the town of Kota Baru on Malaysia's east coast. The plane lost contact with Subang air traffic control at 2.40 a.m. when it was in airspace over the South China Sea between Malaysia and Vietnam. The Vietnamese government says the plane lost contact near Gamao province airspace as it was preparing to transfer to Ho Chi Minh City air traffic control. And search and rescue vessels have not seen signs of any wreckage. Well, Malaysia is leading the massive search operation which involves several countries, it has sent three maritime enforcement ships and a Navy vessel backed by three helicopters. Vietnam, the Philippines and Singapore have also joined the effort to search the area, while China is on standby to offer assistance. The missing plane is a Boeing 777-200 like the one you see here. It's almost 12 years old. There are 239 people on board, including 12 crew members. Of those, 153 passengers, including an infant, are Chinese nationals. There are also 38 Malaysians, 7 Indonesians, 6 Australians, as well as passengers of about 10 other nationalities. There were no Singaporeans on board. This is potentially the second fatal accident involving a Boeing 777 in less than a year. Until then, the jet had a clean safety record since entering service in 1995. The flight was piloted by Captain Zahari Ahmad Shah, Malaysian, age 53. Uh, he has a total flying hours of about 18,365 hours. Joined Malaysia Airlines in 1981. The first officer was Muhammad uh, no, it's Farid Abdul Ahmed, a uh, Malaysian. Age 27, a total flying hours of 2,763. He joined Malaysia Airlines in 2007. And more than half of the passengers on board are Chinese citizens. In Beijing, angry relatives of the passengers on board the flight are accusing the airline of keeping them in the dark. <laughs> Meanwhile, Chinese state media criticized Malaysia Airlines' response to the situation. On its Weibo account, the official Xinhua news agency asked why Malaysia Airlines had waited five hours after losing contact with the aircraft to announce the news. It also questioned the 13-hour delay before the airline held a news conference, even as families await news of the flight MH370. <laughs> Media scrum as distraught family members were escorted into a conference room. A level 2 of Lido Hotel, about half an hour away from Beijing International Airport, has been converted into an emergency center. Behind closed doors, dozens of volunteers are said to be attending to relatives of affected passengers, providing counseling. And when family members leave the room, they face a barrage of camera crews and reporters. Earlier, at an overcrowded media conference, a spokesperson neither confirmed nor denied the plane has crashed into the sea of Vietnam. Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi says an emergency system has been activated.
，希望大家发布。China State Media says out of the total number of Chinese passengers on board, one is an infant. Twenty-four are artists traveling back from an arts festival in Kuala Lumpur. The oldest passenger is said to be 79 years old, but the Boeing 777 is said to be one of the safest planes in the industry, with its first fatality reported only last year when an Asiana Airline plane crash landed in San Francisco, and that flight also involved Chinese passengers. Valerie Tan, Channel News Asia, Beijing. And Channel News Asia's Malaysia Bureau Chief Melissa Goh has more about the search and rescue mission. Prime Minister Najib Razak said that the Navy has dispatched six vessels to the areas about 120 nautical miles north tip of the um, peninsula of Malaysia. And since the aircraft went missing, um, there's just no sign of it. And uh, they also dismissed any speculations that wreckage has been found and urged the public not to listen to rumours as there are many theories out there and they are looking for concrete evidence here. Now, he said that the uh, Malaysian search and rescue team will expand their operations operation in the South China Sea for as long as necessary. Um, the operation center here at Kuala Lumpur International Airport will remain open overnight. And here at home, Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong has expressed his sympathies over the missing Malaysia Airlines flight. Speaking with Malaysian Prime Minister Najib Razak this afternoon, Mr Lee also offered Singapore's help with search operations. The Republic of Singapore Air Force has already deployed one C-130 aircraft for the search and locate mission for the missing aircraft. The mission was coordinated between the RSAF, Singapore Rescue Coordination Center and the Civil Aviation Authority of Singapore. Singapore joins Malaysia and Vietnam in conducting the ongoing operations. Prime Minister Lee Sen Lung had said earlier in the day through his Twitter account that his thoughts and prayers are with the passengers and crew of the missing plane and with their families as well. The passenger manifest provided by Malaysia Airlines on its website confirms that no Singaporeans were on board the plane. Joining Prime Minister Lee in offering support to Malaysia was Foreign Affairs Minister K. Shanmugam. It's very sad, you know. The plane is missing. Our thoughts and prayers are with the people on board, the crew, the passengers. No news. Uh, we have offered assistance, and the uh, Malaysian Foreign Minister is travelling. So I have asked to speak with him at a time that's convenient uh, to express our deepest concern and solidarity with the people of Malaysia. These are our brothers and sisters and to see what we can do uh, to help and uh, really tell him that we stand uh, shoulder to shoulder with them. For now, Malaysia's rescue officials say its naval vessels have seen no immediate sign of wreckage in the area where the missing Malaysia Airlines flight last made contact. Channel News Asia understands that other search and rescue assets from Singapore are on standby if required. And Defence Minister Dr Ng Eng Hen gave us an update on the assistance the Singapore Armed Forces is offering to the search and rescue efforts. When I heard of the news of the missing Malaysian Airlines MH370 earlier today, my sympathies immediately went to the families and loved ones of the passengers on board, especially of our Malaysian neighbours. Uh, MINDEF uh, also set in plans uh, efforts to assist in the search and locate efforts uh, to offer to our Malaysian counterparts. Uh, earlier today, Prime Minister Lee called Malaysian Prime Minister Najib to express our deepest sympathies over the missing uh, Malaysian Airlines flight and offered the help with the search operations. And Prime Minister Najib appreciated our swift offer and response. I have just spoken with my counterpart, uh, Defence Minister Ishamuddin. I asked him uh, what else we could do to help. Uh, we have already mobilized a RSAF Charlie 130 uh, that is at the site of the missing aircraft. Uh, I offered uh, further assistance of our submarine support and rescue vessel. We have this vessel which is equipped uh, to perform underwater search and can assist in these search and locate operations. And it also has uh, divers together with the ship. Uh, Defense Minister Hishamuddin uh, thanked me for my offer and uh, accepted this help. Uh, following this, both the Singaporean and Malaysian Chiefs of Navy have spoken 
and they're coordinating the details to work out how this vessel can uh, be deployed and help them in the search and locate uh, efforts. Uh, I further offered uh, Defence Minister Ishamuddin uh, any other help that he thinks that Singapore uh, can give and that we would be uh, willing to assist him in this, these efforts. And I wish them well in this very uh, difficult period. Meanwhile, people all over the world are rallying behind those who have loved ones on board flight MH370. Notes and dedications such as these are being shared across social media. In particular, China's social network Weibo, as its netizens take in what could be one of the worst plane crashes in years involving Chinese nationals. On Twitter as well, the hashtag PrayForMH370 is trending worldwide, with more than 400,000 tweets since news of the incident broke.